the Almagri system is abolished, the election games in the North will change. Politicians have taken advantage of the Almagri children during election periods to perpetrate election malpractices. The Almagri system have lasted for centuries now. Almagri is a system of Islamic education mal education practices in northern Nigeria. The word Almagri is derived from an Arabic word Al-Muhajirun, al meaning a person who leaves his home in search of Islamic knowledge. The system is now outdated and abused. Anyone can get the Islamic teaching anywhere he or she is located. Parents of these Almagri boys sent them out not only for the purpose of, to learn, of learning Islamic studies, but due to poverty. They are not able to cater for their well-being, so they are sent out in the guise of learning. You hardly see a Muslim in the northern part of Nigeria without Islamic knowledge. 80% of the Muslims in the north did not acquire Islamic knowledge through the al system. Some top northern citizens, especially the dethroned emir, Sanusi Lamido, have severally called for the abolishment of the al system. That it is no longer useful to the society. And he advocated for parents to only give birth to children they can care for. His advocacy for men to marry more only when they can care for many children drew a lot of criticism from majority of the northerners. Adamu Garba, a former presidential candidate, is among the northerners that are in support that the al system should continue. Instead of abolishing it, it should undergo modification. He also said that the system have produced rich men in the north. al system is prohibited. The Kaduna State Governor Malam Nasir El Rufai on China's news said that the al system have outlived its usefulness and as he was speaking, he said that the system is now abolished and the state government have reviewed a law that will completely prohibit the system. He also said that the governor's forum prior to the pandemic have in plan to send all Almagiris back to their respective homes and prohibit the system. The pandemic just made the plan to be executed fast, as, and it is necessary to mitigate the spread. The Kaduna governor is right. The Almagiri system is now outdated and it's not helpful to the society again. The disadvantage of the system is much greater than the advantage. The game politicians play during elections using the Almagiri boys would change. Below are some of the disadvantages of the Almagiri system to the society. One, election malpractices. On the age al children were assembled to thumbprint and vote in the general election. Politicians use the al because they are easy to dispose. They would collect any dime given to them and it's easy to assemble them in large numbers. This practice of using the al in election did not start in 2019 election. They were also used in 2015 and other previous elections. With the prohibition of the al in the north, who will the politicians easily manipulate to carry out their planned election malpractices? They can hire anyone, but it will be difficult to assemble large numbers without paying a huge sum. Some politicians, if they suspect that the voting is not going their way, they will employ the al now turned talks to disrupt the election process so that a particular polling unit is cancelled. 
Most of the elections violence that happens in the North are caused by them. These politicians will not want the violence to be linked to them, so they hire the talks to achieve their sinister plots. And since they need the money, and some have no, con no conscience due to how they grew up, they indulge in the acts of violence. With the recent news about the appointment of the Almagery system in Kaduna State and the plan to abolish the Almagery system in the entire North, there will be changes in the tactics politicians employ during election in the North. Two, Togri. Some of the Almagery boys later grow to become Togs. Togs are unguarded individuals who are hired to cause planned violence in society. Most of the violent incidents that happens in the North are caused by Almagiris, now turned talks. <laughs> Health. The Almagiris are exposed to all kinds of diseases. With less care, should they fall ill. Their only recourse when they are sick is to hope and pray for the grace of God to sustain and keep them alive. They can be infected easily, and they can also transmit infection easily to the society. COVID-19 is an example of how they can get infected easily and how they can transmit an infection easily. The government gave orders for everyone to remain at home so as to mitigate the spread of the virus, but they forgot about the Almagiris. The Almagiris can't stay at home because most of them don't have a home to sleep. Their parents are far away from them. And they must also go out to beg for food. And this neglect is what is causing the rise in the case of COVID-19 in the northern Nigeria. Apart from the southwest, due to Lagos alone, northern states are more affected with the pandemic than any other zone. As at 4th May 2020, out of the active 72 cases in Kaduna State, 65 of them are, are Almagiris that were returned from Kano State from Kaduna uh, Governor Twitter handle. This number is more than 70% of the total infected numbers in Kaduna State. Presently, the Almagiris are the main transmitters of the disease in the north. They did not bring it to the region, but due to their survival, their way of survival, they were exposed and they easily get the disease. These Almagiris are not fortunate to have home training, and they become exposed at a very young age to the society. Some are fortunate to grow and become great men. Some are not fortunate and they end up becoming a menace to the society. The malams they are sent to get Islamic knowledge from does not keep an eye on them 24 hours. What the malams are more concerned with is to impact the Islamic knowledge on the Almagiris. How they move about searching for food and money is not their concern. So therefore, it will be great if the Almagiri system is prohibited in the entire northern states. Politicians will still find a way to achieve their goal, but it will be great if they will not use these children to achieve that. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? How do you think the abolishment of the Almagiris will affect uh, the states? Well, from the look of things, we have seen that Truly, if the Almagiri system is ab abolished, to a very large extent, elections will be free and fair. To a very large extent, um, the, the, the streets will be sanitized to a very large extent. And also, crime will reduce because uh, bandits or banditry will also reduce because it is these uh, Almagiri boys or guys that are mostly used, recruited to carry out these um, uh, negative activity in the society. So it is a good cause 
if they can see it through, that is, if the northern governors can actually see it through and the federal government can ensure that it is seen through. Well, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Kindly drop by the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.